Interia system, all of the core data for a particular employee is housed in an entity that we refer to as the employee card. The employee card is opened by basically clicking on the name of any employee anywhere in the system. The employee card then will display all the data that is accessible via the permissions of the user who is trying to access it. Whenever you need to access any kind of information or manipulate any kind of data or, or utilize any kind of functionality uh, regarding a particular employee in the system, your go-to one-stop shop should be the employee's employee card. From the employee card, not only can we view all of the basic core data, but using the ribbon at the top, we can navigate across various functionality uh, across all of the modules of the system. For example, we can view and register absences, we can manage the document library, we can utilize salary details, or even view performance reviews and access goals pages. This is an alternative navigation method to going through the all the way through the employee database. Uh, in order to find the employee and open them up and deal with them that way or accessing it through the HR's control panels as well. Another quick way to open up the employee card is to use the employee search bar up here in the top of the screen. So if we type in the name of the individual we'll come up with all the matches that correspond to that. Clicking on the name will open the employee's card for us. Now as you can see on the employee card information is divided into various sections and each section housing specific fields. All of this is completely configurable. You can choose which fields to display or to hide and which sections are accessible or viewable or editable by various roles in the system. The way that we can control the data which is shown here is using a tool called the Employee Card Designer available in the settings of the Lantaria system. The Employee Card Designer is a tool that's designed for the average HR user to be able to handle minor adjustments to the employee card. Here they can actually view the fields that are available in a particular section. They can choose options whether that field is available when creating a new employee, whether it's displayed on the standard form when opening the employee card, or whether it's editable in the edit regime of the actual employee card as well. Likewise, with each section, we can manage the permissions and the title and the details of that. So we can change the title to whatever we find suitable. Likewise, we can change the, the roles or we can choose which system roles are able to view the data in the section. And likewise, which ones are able to edit the data in the section as well. So utilizing the options available for each individual field and each individual section, we can meet 99.9% .9 of all the needs of permissions that you might have for each field in the employee card. Likewise, we can add new sections or we can add new fields that don't yet exist in the system. Adding a new field will add another column to the employees list in the back in the site contents of the system so that you can utilize that information later for, for, for developing reports um, or any other information that you might need to deal with. So using the employee card designer tool, you can then structure an employee card uh, that's bespoke to your company and meets all the needs of your organization and your HR. Well, it's, rec it's highly recommended to map out your employee card on paper beforehand, understand what sections you want, which fields you want in each section, and then transfer that information to the employee through the employee card designer. And that concludes this information on the on the employee card. Thanks for watching.